I was thinking about square numbers today, and I realized a little trick that might help you out. But so just to review, what is a square number? Well, all these numbers, if you see over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I have written with a little two above it, right? That means squared. So what does nine squared mean? Well, actually, let's take a smaller number for a second. Let's say, what does three squared mean? Three squared is three times three, right? It's three two times. And geometrically, meaning if I drew a little picture, what that would look like, something like this, where I have three squares going this way, right? And I have three squares going this way. So three squares in each row and three in each column. That's three times three altogether. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like a Sudoku puzzle squares. Okay, so that's why three squared equals nine. All right. That being said, um, you should probably have all your squares memorized up to ten. Um, but if you don't, I found out a little trick that might help you. So let's just take a look at it. Let's pretend like you you know most of them. Let's say one times one. That's one. Two times two. Well, that's four. 3 times 3, we just said it was 9. 4 times 4 is 16. And 5 times 5 is 25. Let's stop there for a second. Do we see a pattern going on here? Well, I did. I noticed that, okay, there's a difference between 1 and 4. Uh, oops, let me use a different color here. Between 1 and 4, well, 1 plus what is 4? 1 plus 3. 4 plus what is 9? 5. 9 plus what is 16? 7. 16 plus 25 is 9. And you may have seen this before. This is just the odd numbers, right? 3, 5, 7, 9. Take a guess what comes next, right? It would probably be 11, right? Which, and then, you know, it goes on and on. But uh, you may have seen that before. But what you may not have seen is that 3 right there, that 3 is made up of this 1 and this 2. So that 3 is really just 1 plus 2. And that 5 is made up of the 2 and the 3 which is really 2 plus 3. That's 7, 3 plus 4. The 9, 4 plus 5. And the 11, 5 plus 6. So the square numbers are just this pattern over and over and over again. 1 plus 2 for the first square number. Uh, 2 plus 3 between the, the second and the third square number. 3 plus 4 between the third and the fourth square number. 4 plus 5 between the fourth and the fifth square number, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So let's see if we could use this pattern to figure out what this square number needs to be, what this one, this one, this one, and this one for 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so if I said that there's a difference of 5 plus 6 after the 25, that means I have to add 11 to the 25, and I get 36, right? And then I'm going to have to add a 6 plus 7 to get from the 6th to the 7th square number. Well, 6 plus 7, that makes up 13, right? So I add 13 to the 36, and I get 49. And then I'm going to add 7 plus 8, another 15 on top of that. And I'm going to get 64. And then I'm going to add, of course, 17 and 19. And I get 81 and 100. Okay, a neat little trick, the square number is all written with these differences. If you have like, and the way that you might find this useful is if you, if you have all these memorized, that's great. But what about, let's say, 11 times 11, okay? Well, all I really need to know is I have to add, well, I know 10 times 10 is 100, right? So if I want to go from 10 times 10 to 11 times 11, I just need to add 10 plus 11 onto that 100, and I get 121. And if I want to get 12 times 12, I need to add, well, and all I know is 10 times 10, then I'm going to say, well, that's equal to 100 plus 10 plus 11, right, for the 11, plus the 11 plus the 12, right? So I'm going to add another 23 onto that one. I add 23 onto that one, and of course, I get 144. Neat little trick with square numbers.